Those of us who have the privilege of going to medical school often find that our best teachers are the ones who tell us stories of the patients they've seen, and they teach us to elicit stories from our patients. Indeed, many of us were drawn to medicine in the first place by great storytellers like Oliver Sacks and Abraham Varghese, who teach us that with medicine, we can be science geeks and students of the humanities at the same time. But at some point, many of us also lose a piece of our humanity during medical training, as its long hours and short sleep teach us that being a doctor is about being efficient. Stories aren't efficient. We learn to boil patients down to reduce them to facts and numbers. And now we're pushing doctors further away from their patient stories by turning the exercise of taking a medical history into a seemingly endless series of forms, which we call an electronic medical record. Better understanding patient stories isn't just the right thing to do. I suspect it will have a tremendous return on investment for healthcare. By understanding patients' preferences, their fears, what they do and don't understand, we can faster get to the right diagnosis, improve compliance, and probably decrease unnecessary follow-up visits. As I was talking about this question of using stories to improve patient care with colleagues like Gilles Friedman and Dave DeBronckart, Dave introduced me to Lucien Engelin, who was actually doing something about it. I'm honored to be a part of the My Health Story project with Lucien and many others. Technology is in some ways keeping us from communicating with patients the way that we learn to. But technology such as the web and YouTube can bring us back. We can now capture and share stories at scale, extract meaning from them, and learn from them. My Health Story isn't just about using technology and social media for healthcare organizations to be engaged or to be part of the conversation, as it's sometimes said. This isn't marketing or PR. This is for real learning, real research, to improve the quality of healthcare. I think that, is at the, it, that it is at this intersection of story and data where some of our most important discoveries will happen in the next few years. I look forward to learning with all of you in these years to come. Thank you.